Oh, I thought I was done with these guys. This one is Jason, correct? So we have kind of red colors, browns, purple, really dark green, gray, lighter green, pink, black. Again, looks really nice. I like the glow around them. I like how visible they are. It's kind of weird. They have bigger heads, but I think it is fitting for them, and I think they look nice. He's holding his knife. Obviously, or I say obviously, but it's not obvious. I am very unlikely to finish all of these during the month of Halloween. I want to do at least one for Halloween. I might do some when it's not, but I want to at least do one or two in October. So we have 23 colors. Again, a lot of black for the outline, the black holes in the mask, and a lot of different greens for its outfit. And again, looks like we have a nice drill area. I am still pleased with all of those. This one I also already opened because my mom got one for both of us. This one's horrible. I don't see the raccoons. I don't think it'll turn out better with the drills. They didn't put the drills in bags. So. This one I am not a fan of and I do believe this is in fact a company that I can say I do not like. I have gotten multiple paintings from them. They have the dummy circles. I'm not a big fan of that. And they look really color blotchy. I have not worked on one. I have not finished any part of one. Maybe it looks better with drills. I have to do that before I can fully say the company is bad. But I do not like the way their canvases are printed. I can say that if you don't like the dummy circles that alone is good enough to say no thank you to the company it's the one I'm thinking it is all of their canvases are like this so again I've been thinking about working on one of these just so I can confirm I do or don't think it, it's any good Maybe just do like I did with that dog and just do the head of this creature here and see if these colors look like that. See if it's readable. More so with the drills put on it. So you got your dummy circles, which I really don't like. To me, it makes it look harder to read, muddier. I'm not a fan of the dummy circles. I've done quite a few paintings with them. I think the uh, Tiny Fun from Amazon are all dummy circles. I don't know if they look that muddy or if there's something in specific about how they do them. This one I already opened in this video. It's the dog cat's bunnies. I ordered it. She ordered it. Oops. Two of them. This one she had one of and I have one of. And this girl is absolutely gorgeous. This is what a human type creature should look like looks like it's going to be a nice skin tone. It looks like all the colors go together nicely. It has the lighter colors with some darker leaves. Pinks, purples, greens, blues. 
some yellow and it's like a lighter yellow. I think this looks really pretty. And again, stick is nice, but the film peels back very easily. Her hand looks nice, her ears look nice, the eyes look nice. I really do like this. So, we have 22 colors. It kind of has like a dummy circle feel with the way the J's are in this light blue, but not when you get to this lighter skin tone in here. wonder how well these water droplets on the leaves are going to turn out. But I really like her. We're almost done. Hopefully my battery hangs in there. 12%. Okay. We should be able to get these last three done. This one is sold out. I got one of the last two, I believe, and I really wanted it. It's a larger canvas of a picture that I like. Hopefully it looks good. It kind of looks like the white isn't going to be as white as it should be. But... Maybe that's just the drill area. Hopefully there's white drills. So this is two tigers. And again, this is what I worry about with animals of the same color. Are we going to be able to differentiate where its head ends and its head starts? I can tell it's here. But with the drills on it, can I tell? And... This is kind of a different label too. It's still your connected train bag, but we got grays, blues, purples, browns. A little bit of red style color for the nose. Um, the canvas. Okay, so I'm gonna write this label out again because it is wrote on here, but in such a way I don't, I wouldn't remember it. If you look at these bags, there's all of that detail on there. And this number here, this JX, is not on the canvas, but it is the 9737. Or the 9637. 9637. So I don't know why it has the extra two letters on this bag, but that will confuse me when I'm trying to pair these two together again. I'm trying to get this done quickly so we don't run out of battery and st stuff doesn't want me to. My labels ran away. I had to find them. Okay, so we have nine, six, three, seven. Obviously the sticker is just to like put my actual label in it. I've shown you guys that I put this picture in the bag. So that's just so when I print the picture off, I know which bag the picture goes into. If I had it already printed off, I would just slide it in there and not have to worry about it. So I hope this turns out okay. It does not look as good as I hoped it would look. It still might turn out okay. I'm afraid the two animals' heads kind of run together, though. And I'm afraid they're not going to be as white as I think they should be. But hopefully it works out. It is kind of interesting because it almost looks like two different paintings. This looks so, you know, like dark, and then this looks blurry. Almost looks like these cats were uh, enhanced in size from a smaller image and plopped onto like a night background and it shouldn't be there.
Again, even if it was like that with drills, you're not gonna notice that one part's like a blurry part and one part's a colored part if you mix them together like that. As long as these lines are readable and this color is more of a white, I hope. I don't know, I already put the drills away. All right. So, we got F's, the E's are in little white boxes. These guys really look muddy. Hopefully they turn out, but they really look muddy compared to that. So that one's a 45 by 35. So it should, you know what, we should check. It should be a 30 by 40. Thirty-nine, so it's almost a forty. It's thirty-nine by thirty-nine by thirty. So instead of a forty-five by thirty-five, it's a forty-nine. A thirty-nine. So forty-five is thirty-nine. Thirty-five is thirty. That's a little weird. Two left. This looks like quite a big one. I know what this one is. One of you guys showed this canvas as a finish in the like 30 by 40 size. I've seen it in the 30 by 40 size. I didn't think there was enough detail, so I never got it, but I did like it and did want it or want it as four separate pictures because it's four owls. And they released it in a 40 by 70. Thought this should have enough detail. So let's see. So I'm sure you guys have probably seen the four owls holding the keys. And here it is in a 40 by 70. I want it more detailed than the 30 by 40 gave. Or I wouldn't have minded each one being a 30 by 40. So we got pre-bag drills. Look at those colors. We got a code that, again, is gonna confuse me. Why does the canvas have all these and then the bag just have the A65? I am not gonna, no, that equals that. My brain doesn't go, oh, skip the first random amount of numbers and just use the last. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why that's how it works. But... It'd be better to write these numbers while it's still on there, but I can't see the lines where the two different stickers start and end. And I am happy with this. We got this owl. Look at those eyes. And we got this owl. That one. And that one. Again, I don't want to say the wrong person's name, but before I recorded this, I have just left a comment for you, replied to a comment, and we just talked a little bit, so. You have a finish of this one I saw. I don't think you're the only person I've seen a finish from, but your, fin your video showing your finishes wasn't that long ago. And I believe you were talking about somebody else also having finished it. But I think this is the appropriate size for this. And not that I'd do so, but if you wanted to work on a smaller painting, you could probably cut them down the white line and make it four separate paintings. And then maybe get, or make four separate frames for them so you can hang them at like different angles. 
spaced out differently against the wall. That's probably the more artistic way of doing it rather than just hanging it like this or anything. Would be to like put this one up here, this one slightly down here, that one over there, and just kind of do like the purposely different angles. And the bottom of this canvas is really sticky. It feels like they poured glue right here. This is <laughs> really sticky. But it's a softer canvas. It has 24 colors, which really doesn't sound like a lot of colors when you have brown, blue, pink, and green. It, it looks a lot more colorful than the 25 colors when 25 colors is what all of our smaller paintings seem like they kind of had. But again, look at those eyes. So pretty. Again, every big painting I've got, I want to work on. I don't know if it's just because these sellers make really good paintings or if it's just the they're big enough that all the detail comes through. So I don't, I don't know if it's the seller, if it's how much detail there is coming through, but I love these bigger canvases. Look at this. This is completely me. Skull, random colors. That is so pretty. None of these large ones like this, these 40 by 70s from these like three sellers have disappointed me. They all are exactly what they look like they should be. So we have the really long numbers for the code here. We got browns and blues and blacks and reds and pinks and purples and yellows and oranges. I think we literally have the whole rainbow in different shades in here. And it also is only 24 colors. Look how much color it has. So pretty. And this is the last canvas. So my phone just needs to hold out a little bit longer. I should double check actually. 6%. All right, let's get this done because if my phone just turns off, I don't know if this video is going to save or be deleted, then that would be very sad. <clears throat> so let's get this done quickly and end in this video. And of course, when you try to rush, stuff takes longer. Maybe it's because the uh, owls are, like I said, kind of four different paintings, but the owls look like a smaller canvas than this. This canvas looks huge compared to that, and they are the exact same size. Okay. All right. So again, this was a really good set of paintings. 5%. Look at that. So pretty. Well, hopefully you guys like these. Hopefully the air condition wasn't too annoying. And that's going to be that for that.